Hello friends, today I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to use the flow layout panel with Citicon scroll bar. I'm going to be showing you how to use the Citicon vertical scroll bar and I'll leave the horizontal scroll bar to you for your own experiments and implementation. Don't worry because the way I'm going to show you is exactly identical to the way you can implement the horizontal scroll bar even though I'm going to use the vertical scroll bar. So, I have dragged and dropped the flow layout panel and now I'm adding these two controls. I'm going to change the text of this control to remove items and the other one I'm going to rename to add items. So, let me change the styling the fill color of this button to hot track yes and let me change the button name to add button and let me change the other button to remove button let me change the panel's name to floor layout panel one and let me drag and drop the vertical straw for the Citicon control, the vertical scroll bar. So I'm going to be showing you everything that you need to know about using the Citicon vertical scroll bar. I'm going to rename it to Citicon vertical scroll bar. And let's change the, the scroll bar size. Not scroll bar size, but thumb size from 10. To 350 at least to give it a very uh, large thumb size don't worry this is going to be changed in real time when controls are added and removed onto the panel so let's quickly implement this let's look for the flow layouts panel controls and clear the controls and let's implement this. So each time we click the add button, we want to add a control to the panel. So let's create the code to add. So it's flow layout panel one, controls, add. And we're going to add a new button, new Citicon button. And let's give it a text of button name. Let's try this. Let's see what we have right now. As we can see, the buttons are being are being added right there and so forth and so forth. So let's now implement the scroll. So what we want to do is to ensure that we get the value, the minimum and the maximum value of this flow layout panel when the form loads. So let's set that uh, value. It's vertical, scroll, and the minimum value of the vertical scroll. We want to give the, our Citicon scroll, vertical scroll control, a minimum value of the flow layout panel minimum value when the form loads. So in other words, we are setting the defaults and let's also set the maximum values I'll explain this shortly. If you don't understand, don't worry. I'll explain this in a way that you understand. So we have set the minimum value of the Citicon vertical scroll bar to be equivalent to the minimum value of the panel. We have also set the maximum value of the scroll bar to be equivalent to the maximum value of the vertical scroll. 
let us set the value the city con value to be equivalent to the floor panel vertical scroll value and we are doing this when the form initializes the components after the components have been initialized we are setting these defaults so there's something that you want to do when a control is added onto the panel we want to generate a a new value that will be attached to the scroll so let me show you in code what i mean so the flow panel when when a control is added when a control is added we are going to do something likewise when a control is removed we want to handle that event and do something as well so when a control is added the maximum value increases when a control is removed the maximum value reduces so let's do this when a control is added we want the city con vertical scroll bar maximum value to match the panel's value when a control is added when a control is removed we want the minimum value of the panel to match with the city con scroll bar minimum value in this instance the values from the panel will always take precedence which means when a control is added or removed it is the city con vertical scroll bar that will receive a minimum or a maximum value the value will come from the panel so let's handle the scroll bar when when we scroll we want something to happen so the way to handle the scroll bar is just to double click on the control when when we scroll we want the flow panels value to be equivalent to city con value so let's do that we want the scroll panel vertical scrolls value to be equivalent to city con vertical vertical scroll bar value so i'm going to show you what we have right now and what is what is happening and i'll show you how to solve any of the problems that we may see so let's see let's, let's try to add some controls We are scrolling but there's something that is happening that i want you to see guys so let me continue to add more controls you will see that there is some flickering that is happening right there i think one of the best ways to do this is to add many controls on a single button click so that you can get the point of what i'm trying to say so on a button click we're going to add so many controls let's create a loop and within this loop let's add many controls let's see in in a single click want to add many button controls 
there's something guys i want to show you right so let's try to scroll there is some flickering that is happening right there let me reduce the thumb so that i can show you i want to help you to see how we can overcome this so let me set this to let's say 100 so that you can see the flickering that is happening right there right so let's try one more time I'm sure you can see the flickering that is happening right there. This is this is caused by the fact that the default panel that we have added here, its default value on auto scroll is false and is always set to false. Let's turn this to true and see what happens. right so as you can see now we can scroll the flickering has gone because we have set the auto scroll value to true so when you are exper experiencing any issues please remember that you have to, to to set the auto scroll value for the panel to true by default it is false so i encourage you to try to apply the scroll on a panel because some may not like to have uh, double scroll panels like this but if it is okay with you that's how you do it I want to explain something very important here guys that you need to, to understand if you see here when we add a control we are assigning the minimum value of the sitcom scroll bar to match with the minimum value of our panels vertical scroll let me show you what happens when we disable this. We have disabled the control removes event handler, the code within that event handler. We have also disabled the controls added event handler. I want to show you what happens. As you can see the controls have been added but when you scroll down we cannot scroll the entire height of the panel the scroll has reached its maximum but if you look at the default scroll we still have some controls that were not reviewed when we we're scrolling and when we scroll up again there's something that is wrong as you can see so i'm going to be explaining to you what is happening each time we add a new control the minimum value changes each time we remove a control the minimum value changes so it's very necessary that you make sure that when a control is added or a control is removed onto the panel we handle that event and reassign the minimum and maximum values to the vertical scroll that is going to fix the problem as you can see right there so if you're facing any issues where the scroll is not reaching its uh, full height it's because your code is not recomputing the maximum and minimum value when controls are added or removed again if you're facing any flickering it means you have not set the auto 
scroll value to true so this is how we do it guys and as usual you can style your scroll bar accordingly you can even put the shadow it's up to you but i just want to show you how you can use the vertical scroll on a flow layout panel and i'll leave the rest of the implementation for you to implement the horizontal scroll the code is just the same you just have to capture the horizontal scroll minimum maximum values and assign them to the silicon horizontal scroll bar so if you have any questions just ask in the comment section and i'll be happy to to assist i hope you find this useful and thank you for watching